And we continue our candidate profiles ahead of the election with a focus on the 21st Congressional District. On the Democratic line, Matt Castelli. On the Republican line, incumbent Elise Stefanik. News Channel 2's Jolene Ferris gives us a close-up look at this matchup. Republicans need to gain five seats on Election Day to take control of the House of Representatives. One seat they don't have to worry about losing, according to analysts and prognosticators like the Cook Political Report, is New York's 21st district, which those groups are calling solid or safe Republican. Democrat candidate Matt Castelli is used to forming consensus with Republicans practically from birth. I grew up in a bipartisan household. My dad's the Democrat, mom's the Republican. And for much of my life, I was actually an independent. Candidate Castelli says he was called to serve his country after 9-11 and spent 15 years working in counterterrorism in the CIA. In a solidly Republican district, including all of Herkimer County that stretches to the northern and eastern borders of New York State, the Democrat is taking a more centrist approach. Most of us want to see a restoration of a voice for what I believe is the great moderate majority. Folks are, are longing, I think, for a moderate voice that can unite us because that's the only place where we can actually solve the problems affecting our community. The candidate says don't believe every voice you hear speak his name. Well, I've certainly voted three times in the district and I'm an upstate New York guy, born and raised, went to college in upstate New York. While candidate Castelli isn't exactly aligning himself with the Democratic Party or policies, Republican incumbent Elise Stefanik is taking aim square against them. Under single party Democrat rule, there's been trillions of dollars, nine trillion since last year, that Joe Biden has, it's been reckless spending of taxpayer dollars. House Republicans are committed to stopping that and making sure that we return to fiscal responsibility. You rein it in by looking for savings in every single department. There's waste, fraud and abuse everywhere in a very, very large and bloated government. And the same goes for Albany. Republican incumbent candidate Stefanik isn't expecting a red sprinkle or shower on Election Day. We are working to build a red tsunami, not just a red wave, because people are tired of the inflation crisis, of the crime crisis, of the border crisis, of all these problems that are a direct result of single party Democrat rule. Voters will decide on Tuesday. Jolene Ferris, News Channel 2.